All right, I have this, I've had this covered all year. I just took the cover off. I'm gonna fire it up for the first time. I think I wanna note the cover. You can see that it got, the paint is peeling here. This happened after I, I think I overheated the oven or it got really hot and I had this plugging it and I noticed that the paint started peeling. So word to the wise, I guess don't, um, don't run the oven at full temperature with the lid in there. Use it only when you want to, when you, when the fire's dying down and you want to preserve the heat. I'm just going to take this, these ashes out. Not all of it, they'll have to take all of it, but as much as they can. You should start with a little paper on the bottom, some kindling, as long as it's dry. Okay, and then after after putting in the small stuff, I usually start feeding it. Start feeding it bigger pieces. Once I get a good cold base going, then I'll uh, you know I'll start with like bigger logs and stuff. So the sides, when the, the sides of the, uh, or the inside is still black, that means it's not ready. So what will happen is, as the oven heats up and the bricks get really hot, it'll start getting, you can see the ceiling a little bit or the top of it. You can see the top of it is starting to get white. And once that gets white, I'm going to back up, I don't want to ruin the camera. Once the top, once it gets white, that means it's come to temperature. That means the, the bricks got, have gotten hot enough that they they can burn off the soot that forms. So that's a good indicator. Um, yeah, it's usually good to wait until the whole thing turns like that, but sometimes the side won't, which is okay. And this, this temperature gauge here, this is just a gauge, it's in Celsius, but it's, there's a probe right on the other end of this, of the brick, um, right in that spot. It's just a general gauge, but what you really need to use is a separate thermometer like one of those laser thermometers to check the temperature of the walls and usually you know for when I bake pizza I do it at about seven eight hundred degrees when the top is at about seven eight hundred degrees uh, if you, you could do it hotter but the, I think it cooks a little too fast and it doesn't the dough gets very floppy and soggy it's at this stage it's pretty much ready to go it's really hot and as you can see everywhere it's all white top sides okay let's see side is about 900 the top is over a thousand so we're ready to go what? so what you want to do is move everything to one side and make room Yeah, 